Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your mid-month February tarot reading. This is a reading for all Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I send you love and appreciation every single day. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, don't ever try to force it to make sense. Just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So those bring in aspects of money, career, moving, everything you could ask about. Mondays are different every week. Today's reading will be a, an in-depth Celtic cross style reading, but next week it could be something entirely different. If you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Virgo? Messages for Virgo, please. All right, we will start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers. Current situation, we've got the five of swords. The immediate influence is the high priestess. You've got the nine of swords in your subconscious, the four of wands in the distant past, the 10 of swords in the more recent past, but the chariot's coming towards you. That's good. Get on the back of that chariot and ride. You, you're represented by the ace of wands, the person or situation you're tracking is the three of wands. You've got strength in your hopes and fears. Three of pentacles in the outcome. Well, I like it. Very harmonious energy that you're walking towards. Now, this is interesting here. So we have the hierophant and then these two lovely kings, the king of swords and the king of cups. What I like about them together is they're very much a balancing act. Okay, they're very different energies. Um, so we have uh, uh, the counterparts here too, the high priestess and the hierophant are counterparts. We have Cancer, Leo, we have Taurus here, we've got air, fire, and we do have water and, and uh, earth as well. So I, I feel like with this here, in terms of a relationship, if you've had a conflict, I do feel like you're going to have information that comes out that's going to be very helpful to you in healing and leaving it behind in some capacity. Now, if it was a conflict that ended a relationship, I see new opportunities, new people coming in, new horizons available. If it was a job that ended too, because there's definitely an ending here. Again, I do feel like you're going to get all the information where you say, that was for me. That didn't happen to me. That happened for me to relieve me. Now, with the Three of Pentacles and the outcome here too, anybody who's moving with the Chariot and the Three of Pentacles coming towards you, it's going to be dynamite, okay? I just keep, they keep saying it's phenomenal. I don't know why, but with that together, um, it's very positive, all right? So new beginnings here. Now, the Hierophant is a lifetime partner. So for some of you, you may be attracting somebody who's very straightforward. They're very upfront and honest, but they are with the King of Cups, somebody that is an absolute confidant, somebody who is truly, uh, comes from the place of love. But I feel like whoever this is, they are a rock. All right, there's something really great about their energy here. And it's very balanced. Like I said, you've got that water, earth, air combo. All of these going together. And so the King of Cups delivers that really great life. Now, for some of you too, if it's a new job, the King of Cups is going to be a card of self-development. And the Hierophant brings in higher education. So more learning, more training. I feel like they're going to pour a lot into you. Those of you that had a job ending, you're not going to look back here. So the, the Hierophant too brings in the keys to the universe. The keys to the kingdom are right at your feet here. The number is 3712. It's a card of unity. So when we see this together, especially with um, the, the energy of the high priestess here with that equal armed cross, all right, it all is all about balance, but this is stellar law of attraction energy. All three of these together is like a, tri a triage of a law of attraction energy just bombarding your life. So be aware of it because with the high priestess energy, she's prima materia, matter comes from the mind, and so is the chariot. So be very aware of that. Now the high priestess and hierophant together are deep spirituality. So meditate, quiet the mind, but allow yourself as Emmett Fox wrote in the seven day mental diet, 
when a negative thought comes into your awareness, flick it off like an ember that lands on your sleeve near a fire. Flick it off before it can burn a hole. There's something very important about directing your thinking. They keep trying to impress upon you about doing that. So we don't dwell in any negative thoughts. We don't fantasize about what could be unless it's robust and beautiful and everything you wanted. All right, there's no lack here. There's This is all about moving forward. So, and, and too with this, I wanna tell you too, there's very trustworthy, these two together. Be still and know, and this king of swords, you won't have any, there's no analysis needed here, right? We don't have to read into people's behavior here because you're gonna know exactly what you need to. So with this, with this five of swords, there was some sort of a conflict here. And with the five of swords, I feel like, especially with the hierophant, she's in solitude. And it's not isolation or loneliness. She's in solitude by choice. So for some of you, if there's some kind of an issue at work too, or if it was a major layoff at a company, I feel like you're not going to be in the banter. You're not going to want to be in group chats about everybody bitching about how this occurred. You're going to get into the solution immediately, or that's what they're telling you to do. So if you're saying, no, I'm already in that. Oh God, now what? Just get out of it. With this, they don't want you to marinate in, in negativity. So with this five of swords, you get away from the conflict, whatever it is. Now, if it's a relationship that ended and there's somebody who likes to call and bring it up all the time, I'd start screening their calls, seeing what they want, because your, your job here is to focus on new beginnings. So with the high priestess, she is the card of the psychic too. And so for some of you, you have a new beginning and it's something you've always wanted to do. It's going to be a, a really, I feel a big shift in terms of career for somebody here where you're in that three of wands energy. So if you've been trying to go out on your own or even do things as a freelancer, here's your opportunity right here. And so with the nine of swords in your subconscious, I don't love this by the way, because your subconscious will bring in things into your awareness that you believe. So this reminds me a lot of Neville Goddard in that state akin to sleep and press upon your subconscious. So just like we talked about not dwelling in negativity, even if you're finding you're a bit restless and you wake up not seeing the downside of that, seeing the upside, well, it's nice and quiet. I can meditate for a few minutes and allow myself to drift back off into sleep. This is a card, though, that tells you it's needless worry that you're being pro protected. And the black in the cards, this is often ignorant. So I do feel like with this, there's something that was definitely over. And there was some information that you may not have known or may not have wanted to see. Okay, you could tell and you kept saying no, no, no and talking yourself out of it. And then it became, yes, 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 this is what it is. And that's okay because with the black in the background, that contrasting energy, you know what you don't want. And that's going to impress upon the universe even stronger exactly what you do want. So being very clear about what you do want and running towards your goal. There's nothing stopping you. I just see somebody like yeah, literally a runner going through a finish line. So this four of wands, this is in the distant past, and this was good until it wasn't, all right? That's what I get with this. So if it was a relationship, even if it was something like a divorce, like it, because this is a marriage card, this felt great in the um, building of it and the building up, but somewhere along the way, it missed the mark. And so with the four of wands, it is the 1111 card. It's a card of synchronicity. So some of you too, if you kind of took your eye off of the law of attraction, I feel like you quickly, life got you back into looking at the law of attraction and saying, okay, how did I manifest this? Where did I, how did I get from here to here? How did this happen? Okay, that's what I'm getting off of this. Somebody got a big wake up call saying, how did I end up going from this celebratory energy to this 10 of swords? And what I do feel like is it was it feels a bit gradual, like things started to get out of alignment. And that's really how things end. We're in alignment and then we're out of alignment with the energy of it. And so then the Ten of Swords comes our way. This is one of those cards that some readers will avoid this deck because they don't like it. I mean, yes, it's drastic in saying it's done. Now, if it's you that ended something, whoever it is, if it's a job or if it's a partnership, uh, a relationship, it also, too, the person that is on the receiving end, if you ended it, may be very dramatic about it. So it also could be them that keeps talking. And you're in the high priestess energy, the Pope of Jones, staying true to yourself. She holds the book of Tara, Torah, pardon me, I almost said Tara, the book of Torah on her lap. And it's also, to the book of life, the laws of the universe. So with this Ten of Swords, 
Some of you may do a deep dive into your own spirituality and again, just sidestepping this energy. Is there something important about not jumping right into the middle of it? Because with the chariot being here, you're about to embark on taking a leap of faith. Those of you, you've got a new opportunity and this one is strong and solid. Now, if it's something more mundane, because this can also be about travel, it can be about even getting a new car. So if you had an ending with a ten of swords as the ending of your old car, here's your new one showing up. Whatever it is, it's going to be victorious. This is a wonderful energy of new beginnings, and it's very solid with this three of pentacles. The two sphinxes here, they pull that chariot, and he uses his mind. It's a card, too, of great protection. So any kind of contracts that you enter into here. The three of, of pentacles is collaborative as well. So it's like both sides with this are going towards the same end game. So if there's a contract, if there's a job, but if it's a relationship too, you're, this is a symbol of meeting somebody very important, but it's very mature energy. Threes are synthesis. You have two of them here. And so we've got change, but we also have synthesis coming in. So any changes are definitely going to be for the better. So enjoy this because you're going to have a, a strong influence, a field of influence around you. And that protective energy is going to set you up great. I love it too with this. Okay, strength is a card of success and it actually comes right after the chariot. So in case you were noticing that and saying, how come she's not connecting those two? Well, here they are. If we would have had the lovers here, that would have been even better. But with the Hierophant, but that's okay. There's still a relationship here. New doors are about to open for you, Virgo. And especially with this Ace of Wands, this is like magic, okay? It's like, it's it's a new passion. It can be a new journey for some of you, especially with this, an actual physical move. A time to take that journey. If it is a new job, it's very positive when you have this. It's something that you've always wanted coming into your fruition, coming to fruition, Coming into your awareness is what they're saying. And so it's very much an action energy, making things happen, both of these together. Now, if you're wondering about a new love relationship, I feel like it's just around the bend. And with this one too, it's gonna have you're gonna have a lot of chemistry. It's an exciting time for you. And some of you, if you really do embody that true Virgo, earthy type energy, right? Very organized, liking things, very predictable. This might rock your world a little bit, but I feel like they're saying, let your hair down. I almost get like the evolution of strength into the star. I wish we had the star here to compare it, but with this three of wands, this is who you're attracting. Your ships are coming in and the three of wands lends to greater expansion. So for some, they're waiting for you, quite frankly, and their journey is just beginning with this. This is progress. All right. It's things moving forward into a new path looking at those paths, choosing a path, but knowing that you're going in the right direction. So there's no confusion here. And so for some, if you are waiting on somebody, if there is a wait for a reconciliation with these two, it is a yes, all right, with these two together. And so the strength card is another energy of success. But like I said, with the chariot, with these two together, you definitely have an influence over other people. And so I do feel like too, if you're in something with healthcare, if you have some kind of healthcare job or something like that, I do feel like with this too, you're going to have new opportunities coming in for you. But overall, the strength symbolizes overcoming, but it also is all about success. So with if you've been waiting with the three of wands and strength, here's where you collect with this three of pentacles. It's definitely a very stable energy as you move forward. It brings in more. It's wonderful in terms of new beginnings and more future further opportunities like I said, this is not just just the it's just the beginning. It's not the end game with this. And so with this too, you're going to be noticed. All right. So people will be looking at you. It's very much a card too of being happy in this energy, having fulfillment in this energy and fulfillment into what you're going towards. So let's see here what the angels have to say for you, Virgo. Messages for Virgo, please. All right, what else does Virgo need to know, please? Messages, advice for Virgo. All right, we have here, trust, trust the universe always hears your heart and brings in what you ask for because your heart will whisper the truth. So with this, they have... Um, 
recovery. So if you had a difficult ending, which is here in the past, which I like where the placement is, with this, it's time to recover, but it's also time to impress upon your subconscious that anything is available for you. Look for a sign. Those signs and synchronicities are all around you. They say in a year from now, but don't let that worry you. It doesn't mean like the next 12 months are going to be ridiculously bad. It just means that you're going to look back and you will not believe the changes in a year from now. They say don't stop, Virgo. You are on the right path. I love you and I'll be back again soon.